I thought of a way out of here. The space elevator. The windbreak is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. Not sure if my bird can handle it, though. Fly! I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing. Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad.
The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess, she's looking to the stars. Dark blue, to the heavens and beyond. Can you hear me? Tu te souviens de nos fleurs préférées qui chantaient tout près de nous du jour de ta déclaration.